Okay, time for another video update. Uh, today, we the past two weeks, we've been in a brand new neighborhood um, in a really kind of religious part of town and a uh, part of town where people are very uh, paranoid, skeptical, tons of unbelievers here. Yes. So not like, you know, where we, this is not the poorest of the poor places in town. It's not the greatest place in town, but uh, we, we come in here and with bold, free speech, proclaiming the kingdom of God to heal the sick and set captives free uh, to uh, proclaim uh, salvation, healing, and deliverance. And uh, we had some remarkable things happen today. Just a super strong day. I was talking to Ben on the way back and uh, there he is. And I was like, did you feel the dominance that we carried in the spirit realm? And that's everything, man. Mm -hmm. Like when you when you come to these neighborhoods, you're not dealing with people. I mean, people are like secondary when it comes to what we're doing in the spirit. When we walk in the dominion of the kingdom, we are proclaiming this dominion in front of spirits of infirmity, lying spirits, religious spirits, things that hold people's minds captive. And we are going into those things to set them free. And man, we preached openly to, to many people today, but and hit healings. Uh, James, you had a couple really good ones here. You want to talk about it? Well, we had a few really good moments. And then everything started off real slow at first. But the young gentleman, what was his name? Oh, Corey. Yes, he had family several several family members that passed away from COVID. Oh my okay. gosh. And he's a believer. <clears throat> so told him how we are able to lay our hands on those people and they be healed okay we did quite a bit of talking with him on you know having authority and all that and he believed it you know he was touched so i'm really counting on that when a good seed was planted in him he's going to grow okay then we had um a lady older lady with fibromyalgia tammy tammy and pain, you know, constant pain. We talked for her a little bit, then we spoke to it, boom, completely healed, no pain whatsoever. Hallelujah. So that fibromyalgia is gone Jesus right Christ. now in Jesus' name. That's Hallelujah. Right. Then we had a lady that we what spoke her, to. What was her reaction to that, by the way? The first lady with fibromyalgia. Oh my gosh, you know. <laughs> that time it, was, it, was, it wasn't as big as she started crying you know like oh my god you know it's gone it's gone i can't believe it wow. both of them was like that it's, yeah it's pretty cool <laughs> and you know of course we like you know i'm like automatically thank you jesus yeah you know thank you jesus yeah. you know thank you jesus for what you've done yeah. automatically yeah then there's a, a lady that came up to and introduced what we do and she broke down and um, she had just lost a dear friend and she needed comfort, Oh, you know? And she was being held in bondage by that. Mm -hmm. You can tell she's a believer. She went, goes to what church? Christ Community, Christ Community Church. And um, so she, she was a believer, but she was in bondage by grief. Mm. Okay, so I just put my arm around her. I was like, no, I just, just want to hold you. That's awesome. Put my arms around her and just spoke peace into her. Wow. You know, and she just kept breaking down because of that. And then Shut she up. just loved it. She thanked us so much for that. Shut up. Then we went to another house. This lady came out. She had high blood pressure, diabetes, diabetes, and fibromyalgia. Yep. She was at a level 10 pain, she said. I said, mm -hmm. well, not 10. She goes, 10. Wow. She came out there. Wow. How long do you know? Oh, no, know. I didn't ask that. Yeah, Dang that's it. I should have yeah. asked that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, pray for her. So we attacked it, prayed for it, and commanded her body to be made whole. Commanded her nerves to Shut be up. aligned, be unpeaced yeah. right now in Jesus' name. And poof, her 10 went to a zero. Awesome. So complete healing. Completely. Complete healing in her body. Instant healing. Yes. I mean, instant. That Thank you, awesome. Jesus. That's another. And she just kept her hands praised and. I kept, I told her, I was like, just keep praising Jesus. You know, and I was, I was paced back and forth, praying in tongues, speaking in tongues, and Judah was speaking in tongues. You know, we just kept kind of praising Jesus for it. Yeah. Then awesome. um, 
she was excited. <laughs> and then she had her granddaughter come outside because she's got ADHD and some other thing like Uncle that. Cut that up, 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 so up. we spoke against that. Of course, I talked to the girl first because she's like 10, 12 years old. I didn't want to freak her out. So I explained to her what I was going to do and spoke to her. Then she was all smiles, beautiful eyed <laughs> smiles. And she went inside and came out carrying a pumpkin, trying to give us her pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> then and I was like, no, you keep it. But then her husband, she wanted us to pray for her husband because he had some issues, physical issues, but he was hesitant. He didn't want to come out. So I told her, I was like, okay. I was like, well, with this right here, you are a testimony. You can be a testimony to your husband. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if he wants prayer, you have our phone number. You call and we will come over whenever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we will pray. We will set him free from it. captivity. Yeah. You know, hallelujah, yeah. praise God, awesome day. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, ben and, and Levi and I uh, led led a uh, <laughs> led a man named Danny to the Lord today. And he this guy is unchurched. And I uh, love it when we find these people. And I we tell him our, my testimony, you know, and uh, he's like, yeah, I want to be born again. And so we led him to the Lord. He starts getting teary-eyed and because I'm telling him, look at me, Danny, in the eyes, your sins are forgiven. And we filled, uh, you know, touched him to be filled with the Holy Spirit and had the oxygen thing on and, and just ministered healing to his body. And he, we walked away. That guy uh, looked really rough when we walked up there. And he was completely, <laughs> he was like smiling and, you know, tears about to bust out of his eyes. He's like, he's like, something's happening to me. And I was like, that's right. We come up across another guy. I mean, we prayed for a bunch of people who had family members that were sick. And one woman, we went by their house and she's like, you have no idea the timing of, of you guys coming to my door. And they had just taken her daughter to St. Louis for cancer. And we mm -hmm. prayed. And, and the way we pray uh, catches people so off guard, but it is convincing. Yeah. There is a... I mean, it comes with power. Yeah. Jesus said, my spirit, my words are spirit and life. And that's what people experience uh, when we come up on their porch. We pray like this and we command things to leave. Yes. And uh, I was talking with a guy. His name is Ian. He said, my girlfriend is mentally ill. She's asleep right now. Would you pray for her? And so I began just to teach him. He's a, he said he's a believer. So I just began to teach him about dominion and about authority. And uh, I commanded that thing to leave. Uh, his house and I felt it. I felt things leaving and and I, I got done. He looked at me. He goes He goes, uh, what did he say boys? Do you remember? He said I felt the conviction when you spoke yeah. mm -hmm. He said I felt the conviction of the words. Serious? Yeah, when you spoke and I said that's what it means to be a son of God And you know what I told him I said Ian I want you to follow me I want you to follow me in the footsteps of Jesus. I want you to come and get trained in this gospel. He's like, well, I've been to so many churches. And it's like everybody believes stuff that's not in the Bible. I said, you're not, you're not looking at that right here. You're looking at the real deal. Yeah. We are the sons of God walking in the footsteps of Jesus. And so that was a powerful encounter that we had with that guy. I loved that. Yeah. And we were preaching you know, basically to a whole crowd of people on their front porch getting ready to have some kind of a party. Man, that was fun. Wasn't that fun, boys? Mm -hmm. Come up preaching to those guys on the on the porch there, Levi. You got any comments you want to make about the day? You got to minister to that one homeless guy, yes. teaching him how to pray and believe. Uh, I uh, taught him how to have faith in and believe in what like God will provide and what He needs. Yeah, that's right. We filled him with the Holy Spirit and fire, and he was he's like, man. I just had peace come all <laughs> over me. Anyway, we're out here. See, what we do when we do this matters because Jesus sent out the 70. And he says, go into all the cities and heal the sick therein. And when they returned, they rejoiced because even the demons were subject to him in the name of Jesus. He said, as you went, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. And as we go out and like even door to door like this, as we go out through our cities, we are bringing dominion into the spirit realm. And we are taking authority in people's lives and people's situations who have been uh, at the demon's will for every scheme, every tactic, every ploy, everything that they're doing to destroy people's lives. And there's literally no thing stopping it. 
until we arrive. Yeah. They are like on a on a a battlefield yes. being slaughtered yes. until we step between them and the enemy and we slay the, the works of the demon. Yes. And that's what we're here for. That's what we're here to do. Any other final thoughts, comments? No. Hallelujah.